Growing older doesn't necessarily equate to slowing down, and for a select group of Hollywood's biggest stars, age isn't a reason to retire. Even after turning 90, actors like Rita Moreno and William Shatner are proving that their careers can continue to thrive, serving as living proof that age is just a number. In this video, we will explore how these actors are still making a significant impact at 90. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's dive in. James Earl Jones. With his deep resonant voice and imposing physical presence, James Earl Jones became one of the most easily recognizable figures in the entertainment industry. A native of Arkabootla, Mississippi, he spent most of his childhood in Michigan living with his grandparents. The move north was such a jarring event that he developed a severe stutter and barely spoke until high school. With help, Jones overcame the stutter as a teenager and became involved in artistic pursuits. On both Broadway and off, he swiftly established a regular presence. His stature and voice made him a natural fit for the lead role in multiple productions of Shakespeare's Othello. In 2023, James Earl Jones celebrated his 90th birthday with heartfelt festivities. Throughout his illustrious career spanning over 50 films, Jones made his movie debut in the 1964 film Dr. Strangelove. He is notably recognized for lending his voice to iconic characters like Darth Vader in the Star Wars franchise and Mufasa in Disney's The Lion King. He is now 92 years old. Kim Novak Kim Novak wasn't your typical Hollywood starlet of the 1950s and early 1960s. She had this rare mix of chilly aloofness and down-to-earth sensuality that set her apart. Movies like Picnic and The Man with the Golden Arm showcased her dramatic and vulnerable sides, but it was Alfred Hitchcock who truly brought out her magic in Vertigo 1958, where she became the object of James Stewart's affection. As the 60s drew to a close, Novak decided to step back from the Hollywood hustle, taking a break from the film scene. This move only added to the mystique around her, turning her into one of the most enigmatic and captivating actresses of post-war Hollywood. She is currently 90 years old. Robert Wagner The epitome of the handsome and debonair Hollywood star, actor Robert Wagner, known to friends as R.J. Played romantic heroes and upstanding young men in a string of mostly unmemorable 1950s and 1960s era features, before finding lasting fame as one of television's smoothest leading men. Bringing a touch of old-school class, Wagner graced the screen in the ABC action drama It Takes a Thief in 1968. However, it was his talent for light comedy that truly shone in series like Switch in 1975 and Heart to Heart in 1979. Beyond his on-screen success, Wagner made headlines in his personal life, most notably as one half of Hollywood's cherished couple, having married the captivating Natalie Wood not once, but twice. As of 2023, the actor continues to be regarded as one of Hollywood's finest, with a leading man career that has left an indelible mark on the industry. He is now 93 years old. Joel Gray, a mercurial, multi-talented fixture of the Broadway stage since the 1950s, Oscar-winning actor Joel Gray rose to fame as the sinister master of ceremonies in Cabaret, which earned him both the Tony Award for the 1966 stage production and the Oscar for Bob Fosse's 1972 film adaptation. Celebrating his 90th birthday, surrounded by good friends, Joel Gray, the Oscar and Tony Award-winning Cabaret star, shared his joy with people on April 11, 2022. Undeterred by entering his 10th decade, Gray continues to prove his vitality, making a cameo in Lin-Manuel Miranda's Tick, Tick, Boom, and showcasing his talent in three episodes of the 2022 FX thriller The Old Man, starring Jeff Bridges. William Daniels a maestro of both stage and television, William Daniels, adorned with multiple awards, perfected the art of the cutting remark and the verbal reprimand. 
His brilliance shown in acclaimed series like Saint Elsewhere in 1982 and Boy Meets World, 1993, as well as in numerous television movies, Broadway plays, and feature films. Starting as a child performer in the early 1940s, he seamlessly transitioned into adult roles, making his mark on stage in 1776 and later in its feature adaptation, which paved the way for a series of memorable portrayals as John Adams. Daniels still occasionally hangs with his former Boy Meets World castmates, joining them for a hilarious photo op at the Boston Comic Con Fan Expo in August 2019. Today, he is 96 years old. Barbara Eden Whether you're a child of the swinging 60s or a more recent addition to the world, the name Barbara Eden is likely to ring a bell. While her real name might not be on the tip of your tongue, there's a good chance you've heard of the character she's forever linked with, none other than Jeannie from I Dream of Jeannie. And guess what? Everyone's beloved Barbara Eden is marking her 92nd birthday today. Ms. Eden, forever etched in our memories as the enchanting genie from the classic comedy I Dream of Genie, continues to be a favorite, catering to both nostalgia seekers and a new generation of fans. Anne Margaret, too often thought of in the 1960s as a mere sex kitten, Anne Margaret's career outlived her hip-swiveling breakout, and over the next four decades proved her tremendous talent and staying power as a singer, dancer, and fine dramatic actress. She began her career on the cabaret stage, which she revisited throughout her life as a Las Vegas entertainer and TV variety show host. One of the most well-known films that people associate her with is Viva Las Vegas, where she starred alongside Elvis Presley. This film not only showcased her acting talent, but also became a significant part of her legacy. Throughout her illustrious career, Anne Margaret has earned numerous accolades, including five Golden Globe Awards, which speak volumes about her talent and impact on the entertainment industry. Her ability to seamlessly transition between acting, singing, and even dancing has made her a versatile and beloved figure in Hollywood. She is 82. Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman, a titan of American cinema, wielded his acting prowess across a rich tapestry that spanned over six decades, enthralling audiences with performances that ranged from the exquisite to the unforgettable. Despite being dubbed the least likely to succeed by his acting school peers, Hackman defied expectations etching indelible portraits of characters that earned him multiple Academy Award nominations. Hackman gracefully embraced a quasi-retirement, dedicating time to his writing pursuits, all the while leaving an indelible mark on the cinematic landscape. He is now 93 years old. Rita Moreno a true trailblazer in the entertainment industry, Rita Moreno achieved the rare distinction of earning an EGOT, Emmy, Grammy, Oscar, and Tony Award. Celebrating her 90th birthday on December 11, 2021, Moreno's illustrious career spans decades, marked by iconic and groundbreaking performances. Pictured on the left at the 1961 premiere of the original West Side Story, where she earned an Oscar for her role as Anita, and on the right at the 2021 premiere of Steven Spielberg's version, in which she takes on the new character of Valentina. Beyond her contribution to the West Side Story remake, Moreno continues to maintain a vibrant presence, with active roles in 2023 films such as 80 for Brady and Fast X. She is now 91. Dick Van Dyke Dick Van Dyke is a legendary actor known for his iconic roles in film, television, and theater. His career spans over seven decades and includes a wide range of accomplishments. One of the most famous films people recognize him from is the classic Disney movie Mary Poppins, in which he portrayed the lovable chimney sweep, Bert. His performance in the film earned him widespread acclaim and solidified his status as a beloved entertainer. Throughout his career, Van Dyke has garnered numerous accolades, including multiple Emmy Awards and a Grammy Award. 
His versatility as an actor and his natural charisma have made him a household name across generations. In 2023, Dick Van Dyke continues to be active in the entertainment industry. He remains involved in various projects, including guest appearances on television shows and the occasional film role. Additionally, he is known for his philanthropic efforts and advocacy for various social causes. At 97 years old, he continues to inspire audiences with his enduring talent and passion for performing. June Lockhart If the USA had a mom, it would probably be June Lockhart. She's that warm, caring figure we all imagine when we think of motherhood in movies and TV. Lockhart's journey in the entertainment world is like a story unfolding, from being a child performer to taking on different roles in various movies. Born to Jean and Kathleen Lockhart, both actors, June started on stage at 8 and even appeared in a film at 12, making her debut in the 1938 version of A Christmas Carol alongside her parents. As she grew up, Lockhart found her stride in the late 40s on the New York City stage then moved on to early live TV, scoring an Emmy nod in 1952 for Best Actress. However, it was her TV roles as nurturing mothers in the late 50s and 60s that really set her apart. Shows like Lassie and Lost in Space made her a household name, and her warmth resonated with audiences. She became a symbol of motherly care on the small screen, and we all loved her for it. Joanne Woodward Joanne Woodward is an iconic American actress known for her illustrious career spanning over six decades. She has captivated audiences with her nuanced portrayals of complex women in numerous feature films, earning her four Oscar nominations and winning one. Woodward's collaboration with her husband, the legendary Paul Newman, has also contributed to her lasting legacy in Hollywood. The actress has achieved numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, three Primetime Emmy Awards, a British Academy Film Award, three Golden Globe Awards, and a Screen Actors Guild Award. Her remarkable longevity and range of roles have solidified her as one of the last major stars from the golden age of Hollywood. Now, at an age that exudes wisdom and experience, Joanne Woodward continues to be celebrated for her contributions to the entertainment industry. June Squibb June Squibb spent most of her six-decade acting career in small supporting roles until she finally gained recognition for her sterling performance in the comedy drama Nebraska, 2013, which earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Squibb's career in the entertainment industry began in the 1950s, and she has since appeared in numerous films, television shows, and stage productions. In 2023, June Squibb continues to be an active and respected figure in the entertainment industry. She has maintained her presence on both the big and small screens, showcasing her versatility and talent. Squibb's continued dedication to her craft has solidified her status as a beloved and accomplished actress. She is now 94. Johnny Gilbert For almost 70 years, Johnny Gilbert has been a prominent figure in the entertainment industry. Notably, he served as the announcer on Jeopardy from its inception in 1984 until the final episode taped in 2020 which aired posthumously after host Alex Trebek's passing. Johnny Gilbert celebrated his 90th birthday in 2018, and he is now 95 years old. Mike Nussbaum Mike Nussbaum, a veteran actor, has had a remarkable career spanning several decades. Born in 1923, Nussbaum's love for acting led him to become a prominent figure in both theater and film. He is best known for his role in the 1985 film Field of Dreams, where he played the character of Principal Number One. In 2017, Nussbaum was the recipient of the Sarah Siddons Award for his outstanding contributions to Chicago theater. Now in 2023, at the age of 99, Mike Nussbaum continues to inspire and entertain audiences with his unparalleled talent.
Despite his age, he remains active in the industry, taking on various roles and participating in theater productions. His dedication to his craft and his enduring passion for acting serve as an inspiration to aspiring actors and a testament to the timeless nature of talent and creativity. Barry Gordy Jor, Barry Gordy Jur, the founder and president of Modon Records, stands as a pivotal figure in American music history. Transitioning from a boxer to a songwriter, Gordy recognized the significance of artistic ownership, leading him to establish Motown in suburban Detroit in 1959. The label became a powerhouse from the 1960s to the late 1980s, boasting iconic artists like Smokey Robinson, the Jackson Five, Marvin Gaye, and Diana Ross and the Supremes. Motown symbolized youthful exuberance and optimism for the future through a string of hit songs. He is now 93. Tippi Hedren. A flourishing fashion model since her 20s, gracing the front covers of esteemed magazines like Life and Glamour, Tippi Hedren pivoted to acting when she caught the eye of director Alfred Hitchcock during a television commercial in 1961. Her foray into acting catapulted her to global fame, particularly through her notable performances in two of Hitchcock's films, the suspense thriller The Birds in 1963, earning her a Golden Globe, and the psychological drama Marnie in 1964. Her accolades include the Jules Verne Award and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Beyond her acting career, Hedren established the nonprofit organization, the Rohr Foundation, in 1983, dedicated to supporting the Shambhala Preserve, a sprawling 80 acre wildlife habitat. Moreover, Hedren has displayed global compassion, setting up relief programs in the aftermath of earthquakes, hurricanes, famine, and war. She played a pivotal role in the development of Vietnamese American nail salons in the United States. At 93, Tippi Hedren's multifaceted career and philanthropic endeavors underscore her enduring impact on both the entertainment industry and the world at large. Ava Marie Saint. Though her film appearances were sporadic at best, less than 20 movies between 1955 and 2006, Academy Award winner. Eva Marie Saint enjoyed revered status among her peers due to her emotionally complex performances in several iconic films. She was perhaps best known as the delicate object of affection for dock worker Marlon Brando in On the Waterfront, 1951, which earned her an Oscar. Despite the passing years, Eva Marie Saint continues to captivate audiences with her timeless charm and unparalleled talent. Born in 1924, she remains an acclaimed figure in the industry and a source of inspiration for aspiring actors. Her career achievements and dedication to her craft serve as a testament to her enduring impact. Even now, at an advanced age, Eva Marie Saint's influence on film history remains undeniable, and her legacy continues to thrive. She is now 99. Bob Newhart. Bob Newhart, a maestro of mirth in the 1960s stand-up scene, wielded humor like a fine brush, painting the quirks of everyday life with a deft touch and a mild stammer that not only earned him three Grammys, but also secured the first comedy album to ascend to the throne of number one on the Billboard charts. His comedic wizardry seamlessly transitioned to the television realm, where he took center stage in not one, but two sitcom gems the Emmy-nominated The Bob Newhart Show, CBS, 1972-78, to and the even more cherished Newhart, CBS, 1982-1990. In the latter, Newhart assumed the role of a beleaguered owner-operator of a Vermont bed and breakfast, setting the stage for hilarity to ensue with an ensemble of delightfully peculiar characters. In 2023, Bob Newhart remains an iconic figure in the entertainment world, showcasing his enduring talent and leaving a lasting impact on fans and aspiring performers alike. He is now 94 years old. Jaina Rollins When actor Jaina Rollins arrived in Hollywood in the 1950s, she could easily have opted to take the Hollywood starlet route. 
but she shared a creative vision with filmmaker and husband John Cassavetes, preferring instead to use her stunning, camera-loving facial features and natural acting style in unglamorous roles in groundbreaking independent films that launched an entire movement. Whether playing a suburban housewife or a successful entertainer, Rollins took risks with unconventional characters who dared to look inwards and question the unfulfilled promises of the status quo. From her acclaimed, Oscar-nominated roles on the 1970s art house circuit, Rollins spent her later career lending authenticity to more mainstream fare, with Golden Globe and Emmy-winning roles as eccentric mothers and middle-aged women in crisis in television movies and theatrical releases. She is now 93. David Attenborough David Attenborough is a legendary figure in the world of nature documentaries. His career spans over six decades, during which he has brought the wonders of the natural world into the living rooms of millions. He is best known for his work as a naturalist and broadcaster with his groundbreaking series The Blue Planet and Planet Earth being widely acclaimed. Throughout his career, Attenborough has earned numerous achievements and accolades, including multiple Emmy Awards and a knighthood for his services to broadcasting and wildlife conservation. In 2023, David Attenborough continues to be actively involved in environmental advocacy and documentary filmmaking. He remains a leading voice in the fight against climate change, using his platform to educate and inspire audiences around the globe. He is now 97 years old. Harry Belafonte Multi-talented actor and musician Harry Belafonte was the first black performer to win an Emmy Award and the first recording artist to sell over a million copies of an album though he was doubtlessly most proud of his long-standing work as an activist in international fights against racism, violence, and world hunger. Hailing from Serbia, Veselinovic has carved out a remarkable career in the entertainment industry. One of his most notable films that brought him international recognition is The Trap, directed by Shardan Golubovic. In 2023, Branka Veselinovic continues to captivate audiences with his captivating performances, taking on challenging roles and contributing to the art of storytelling through his craft. He is now 96 years old. Ray Anthony Ray Anthony, the legendary American bandleader and trumpeter, has enjoyed a remarkable career spanning several decades. Rising to prominence in the 1940s with Glenn Miller's band, he later formed his own highly successful group, achieving fame in the early 1950s with hits like The Bunny Hop and At Last. Anthony's versatility was showcased in his own TV show, highlighting his multifaceted talents. Over the years, he remained influential, producing later hits such as The Theme from Peter Gunn and establishing big band 80s. Now, at the impressive age of 101 in 2023, Ray Anthony has retired from active musical pursuits. With a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, Anthony's legacy as a pioneering musician and band leader stands as a lasting tribute. James Hong James Hong has been often cast as heavies, but in every kind of role and every type of film and TV series imaginable for over 40 years. Born in the Chinatown section of Minneapolis, Hong was sent to his family's native Hong Kong for his earliest education, but returned to the U.S. at age 10 and later studied engineering at USC. An interest in acting led to study with famed teacher Jeff Corey, and in the early 1950s, Hong began appearing on such celebrated TV anthologies as CBS Playhouse and Playhouse 90. He is now 94 years old. Janice Page An enthusiastic singer from childhood, Janice Page was discovered by a talent scout while performing at the Hollywood Canteen, which quickly led to a career in movies. With a successful career that spanned nearly 60 years, Page is one of the last surviving stars from the golden age of Hollywood. Known for her exceptional talent and captivating performances, Page initially gained recognition as a singer at the Hollywood Canteen, 
which led to a thriving movie career at Warner Brothers. Notably, she starred in her own sitcom and made memorable guest appearances on various shows. Page's enduring impact was honored with a star on the prestigious Hollywood Walk of Fame. Even now in 2023, she continues to captivate audiences with her timeless charm. She is now 101 years old. How incredible. Lois Smith, an esteemed, highly charged, and highly talented player of stage, TV, and film, Lois Smith has not always been a regular in the visual media, but she has made the chances count. Known for her memorable roles in classic films like East of Eden, Five Easy Pieces, and Fried Green Tomatoes, as well as recent hits such as Lady Bird, Smith's versatility and depth as an actress have earned her critical acclaim. In 2020, she made history by winning the Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Play for her performance in The Inheritance, solidifying her status as a powerhouse on both stage and screen. With a Lifetime Achievement Obie Award and induction into the American Theatre Hall of Fame, Lois Smith's legacy is one of unparalleled artistry and dedication to her craft. She is now 93 years old. That's all for today's video. If you liked what you saw, feel free to hit that like button, share it around, and don't forget to subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one.